Reliquary is finally here, a brand new primitive waiting to be explored. As with all systems, adaptations take place, iterations come, and evolutions unfold. It's a major part of how we grow, and the Reliquary is here to take the evolution of the Beats ecosystem to the next level. The Reliquary is a yield and voting power distribution primitive that offers an evolution of the MasterChef contract, as well as an alternative solution to the shortcomings of the current vote escrowed model. Building from the MasterChef contract, the number of rewards emitted for a position is no longer purely based on the size, but also the age or maturity of the state LP. Additionally, utilizing evolving financial NFTs, the Reliquary offers users the freedom and flexibility to enter a governance position without locking any capital away. This system is essentially the reverse of the vote escrow VE model. Voting power is no longer dictated by how long users are willing to lock tokens for, but instead by how long they have been a participant in the protocol. Users are not forcibly locked and can exit their positions whenever they choose. Mobbeats are the key to governance power on the protocol and are essential to participating in BIPs, Beats Improvement Proposals, and emission allocations through gauge votes. Additionally, a portion of the total protocol fees flows to users who mint a Mob Beats position in the form of a gauge bounty. This mechanism ensures users actively contributing to the protocol can claim Beats bounties via engaging in the gauge vote. Mob Beats utilizes an innovative maturity-adjusted primitive known as the Reliquary. With so much to unpack, understanding the intricacies of Reliquary can be a little daunting. With a brand new UI and some novel concepts to the migration, it's important we set the record straight. We've compiled this resource to guide you through every step of your journey. Access to the Reliquary can be found at the top of the page next to the Swap tab. Simply click on Mob Beats to get started on your journey. There are three key areas to the Reliquary that are relevant to the user journey. One, F Beats. Invest Beats WFTM at an 80-20 proportion into the Fresh Beats pool to receive F Beats. Two, Reliquary. Next up, deposit FBeats into the Reliquary contract to unlock your maturity adjusted position. 3. Mobbeats. Finally, receive a transferable and composable relic that holds your maturity adjusted beats, Mobbeats position. Acquiring Mobbeats. There are two options for users to get Mobbeats. 1. Legacy FBeats holders can seamlessly migrate over. Upon heading to either the Mobbeats page or the Fresh Beats pool, Users will receive a pop-up that informs them that they hold legacy FBeats in their wallet that can be migrated over to Mobbeats. Clicking this migrate button will open a pop-up instructing users to unstake their FBeats position. Legacy FBeats no longer carry any voting power nor the ability to earn additional Beats incentives. To activate a new FBeats position, the old FBeats needs to be unstaked and deposited into the Reliquary contract. As you can see, I'm doing this in the background. The UI is very streamlined. All you gotta do is click through the different MetaMask prompts and the easy one, two, three, four instructions. Two, new users can easily acquire Mobbeats directly from the Mobbeats page. For users who are new to the platform and don't have an existing FBeats position, Mobbeats can be acquired through a simple invest flow on the UI. Click on Get Mobbeats to begin your journey towards your first relic. The first step to obtaining a relic is to deposit a position into the Fresh Beats pool, Beats WFDM 8020. Users can either invest proportionally or with a custom deposit. Once the desired allocation has been set, click on Preview to review your investment. Before confirming Create and Deposit, users need to check a box agreeing to Terms of Service. This will prompt a pop-up from MetaMask asking for confirmation. Once checked, users can then proceed to create and deposit for the final step in the migration. A successful deposit will prompt a pop-up for confirmation. Your journey into a relic has been completed. It's a simple deposit process that enters your position into the reliquary contract and subsequently creates a Mobbeats position that will receive a maturity adjusted boost in rewards and voting power. To manage your new Mobbeats position, click on Return to Mobbeats to be redirected back to the homepage. Managing your Mobbeats position. On the Mobbeats homepage, you'll find a section called My Relics. Users can navigate and manage their current relic positions, as well as find all relevant information regarding maturity boost and rewards. If you look below the relic, it displays the relevant information for the position. Relic APR, pending rewards, current position size, deposit and withdrawal, relic share, and potential daily yield. 
Note, if a user has more than one relic, they will be able to navigate between these positions from the My Relic section. The UI seamlessly shifts between positions and makes accounting simple and easy to follow. An evolving NFT. Leveling up is a seamless and simple process. Users can level themselves up directly on the UI every time their Mobbeats relic has reached a new maturity level. Beethoven X will also automatically level up positions that are three days past the minimum level requirement. The duration to the next qualifying maturity step is shown directly on the My Relics page. Also below the relic position, users can find a section titled All Relics. This section outlines an overview for all of the positions deposited into Reliquary on Beethoven X, as well as information on relic maturity, rewards, and performance. Dive in under the hood to get more in-depth knowledge on various performance metrics that underpin Reliquary. FBeats shows the total number of FBeats deposited into Reliquary across the varying maturity levels. MobBeats shows the total number of MobBeats deposited into Reliquary across the varying maturity levels. Relics shows the number of relics created on a given day for a particular time period. And TVL shows the total value locked into relics on a given day for a particular time period. Maturity Curve Maturity is broken down into various levels, each of which corresponds to differing reward distributions. The Betronix Curve describes the specific curve used for maturity boost for both rewards and voting power. As users approach a higher level of maturity, they gain access to an increased amount of beats emissions and voting power. Simple, sleek, and built for the future, Reliquary ushers in a new era for both incentives, models, and governance structures. By aligning users with the protocol, a happy middle ground is met where everyone involved can benefit sustainably. For more information on the Reliquary, check out our docs at docs.beats.fi or hop into the Discord. Thanks everyone for watching.